Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So here I am making a sim in Sims 4. So I think I'm just trying to establish a really distinguished look with this girl. I want her, I haven't really played around with um, making a sim. So I think I was just going through all the options here, trying to like make her look a bit different so I wanted to just play with the features of the face here from what I can see and so I'm just mucking around the eyebrows trying to find perfect eyebrows I need to change her hair color yeah so I made it black um, and I like to keep the hair short while I make the sim so that way I can get all the facial features right. So here I'm just playing around with all the different eyes. It's so weird, like the eyelashes are so different to um, Sims 3. But I really like the look of the Sims so far. So I've got, just going in to get some finer details. So I'm just playing around with their eyes trying to make this really nice slanty Asian almond cat eye shape so I thought I think at that stage see how big her pupils went I was like whoa how did her no her pupils how did her eyes get so big and for a second I was a little confused like how did that happen but I think I go back and I move it back I know she looks like she's frowning so I think I actually undo that. Yeah, I think I'm too, yeah, I undid it. So I went back to that look on her eyes and I just wanted to see what other options there were. Went with the nose. I wanted it to, to be a little bit more kind of like an Asian, like my nose, kind of like a button nose. So you can see me just playing around with it, making it a bit wider at the nostrils. I'm just playing with that there I just kind of wanted her to look a little different to what the chosen f face was so I've got that happening what else am I gonna do oh, I wanted to remove that little mole beauty spot that she had just above her lip and I'm just trying to find some good lips for her I wanted them not to be too thin but I didn't want them to be too thick so I went somewhere in between and I think yeah I'm just changing her skin tone so something a little bit more exotic and darker and here I'm playing um not playing I'm trying to look for a hairstyle so I do have some custom content I will try and remember where I got them from I know that is from Nightcrawler that one I love their hairstyles um, on the Sims resource, so I love them. And I don't know which one I ended up choosing. I think that bun there, the one with the bun, I'm obsessed with it. I really like that one. I love how all the different, you get all the different colors and stuff, pretty cool. But I really love this bun, how cool is it? So I think I went with that, yeah, and I changed it to black. So you can really see her coming like her, she's so pretty. I think she's so pretty. Um, and you see her coming together. So, oh, I kept it at a brown, did I? Okay. So I'm just going to, I think I'm editing her face more. I wanted to give her more of a stronger jawline. Yeah. And I'm just playing with her lips a bit. I don't know why I made the bottom lip so big. But you can see she's got so much more of a defined jawline now. Um, and I wanted to just make her chin a bit bigger, drop it low a bit, yeah. I think, oh, <laughs> I was playing with her, see if she had a natural smile or not. But yeah, I was really happy with that look. And seeing, I, was, I remember looking at her nose and I wanted to kind of make it a little bit more flatter from the side profile, but it wouldn't let me. Uh, so I just played with the bridge a bit, brought that in. 
So let's just say she's a half cast Asian and she's got some Caucasian features such as the shape of her nose from a side profile. But I wanted to give her green eyes and I was tripping out because I don't know if I have any custom content eyes here but it looks like I do and I think I check a few of them out and I'm like whoa they don't look like standard stock Sims 4 eyes like those on there. Um, but I ended up going back to just a green because I wanted her to have green eyes. So I think I choose that one or the next one. Yeah, I, I settle for those. I think they're really pretty. So yeah, I wanted to start dressing her. So normally when I try and create a sim, I remove all their existing clothing just so I can get an idea of their body shape and this is where I changed her body shape a bit so I brought in her shoulders a bit I made her boobs smaller tried to flatten her stomach but I didn't want her boobs to be too big and I didn't want them to be too small but I wanted her to kind of have like a small waistline but like some wide hips so you can see me bringing tightening everything up and I just tried to just make everything proportional so I made her waistline as small as I can be and her hips are quite wide but then I realized well she has to be proportioned with her hips so I wanted to just make her boobs a little bit bigger and I thought that was pretty good I wanted to make her thighs a little thinner so and I think I wanted to bring did I bring her boobs up no I left them there so now into clothing I do have some custom content once again if I remember where I got them from I will leave the links to them in the description below so I wanted her to have an everyday look to be I don't know kind of casual so I was just playing around with like a plain tee and some ripped jeans so I knew I had another pair so I really like those but it the t-shirt tucks in so yes and I was just playing around with the colors I think they're really cool I wish I had them in just like a plain black though because I really like the rips on those but I wanted to test out what kind of shoes I could possibly have with these like some nice heels but all the custom content heels that I have they kind of overlap onto the bottom of the jeans so it was really hard for me to choose some that I like so I think I just went with these some plain ones um, I think I actually end up changing a whole outfit to be honest with you so yeah I ended up opting for the black and then I remembered that I had like a little lace crop top somewhere I don't think and I'm just trying to find the perfect pumps and I think I changed the top. I know I do. Mm. Oh, and I'm trying to find it now. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, so she's kind of like ghetto in a way. Um, and then I go on to the formal. So I just remove all the accessories. I'm not really big on accessories. I don't know why. It's just not my... I'm not really fussed when it comes to them in the game so that's a custom content dress I'm not sure where I got it from I'll try and find out where and I'm just trying to find something like kind of formal but sexy at the start and then I realize it's kind of formal and then there's the party section so I think I will go with something a little bit more conservative for the formal and I do have one dress where is it? No, not that one. It's so disappointing when you like download some custom content and it doesn't look as nice as it did in the pictures on another person's sim. So yeah, I like that, but I know I choose this one. So she's like a goddess. I end up changing the hairstyle and adding makeup. I normally don't try and change the hairstyle and makeup looks for each look but I did with this because I kind of wanted to 
get right into it. So now going into the sportswear, I noticed some leggings with the I like just the leggings as themselves in the accessory section. And I like that I should have kept that jacket, but I ended up just going with a plain singlet and some trainers. So I kept it really simple, kept her hair in a bun for that look. And that's a nighty thing that I got that I downloaded as well. So if I can remember where I got that from. I will also link that but it's really cute but I ended up going for just this oversized shirt look because I think that's really cute and some plain slippers so that is that party straight away I was like got to remove that hat it's not happening so here I wanted to go for more of a relaxed kind of going out say like a party slash barbecue kind of look I was looking at the dresses and stuff but I wasn't really feeling it so I went and checked out my tops and I remember getting these so I wanted to use one of these um cropped ah. tops and it, it comes in different styles so I'm just looking through to see which style I would think suits her best and which one do I settle for? No, I think that one. Yeah. And then I think I go with the ripped jeans. But I check out those leggings first, I think. Do I go and check them out? Where are they? No. I was having trouble finding them. I'm like, where are they? But when I looked closely, you can see actually her underwear underneath. So I was like, no, that can't work. So I go back and I yeah. get the ripped jeans from earlier the blue ones I think do I? yes I do and then just changing the colours to see which ones I like I think I go with the faded ones yeah and what shoes do I choose so I wanted to just see how the shoe would fit on the bottom of the jeans so I'm just looking through I was going to go with some sandals but do I go with that? I don't remember um I think I might find some heels that I like just change the color I think I go with other ones do, do, do. no because they overlap no see you can see the overlap no no I thought these boots looked a little bit weird on the sole I don't know if that's how it's meant to be. It just looked a little weird. So I was like, nah. I think I settled for these ones in black. Because they would go, they're like slide-ons. Yeah. I do. And I wanted to change her hair. I wanted it to be a little bit different. But what am I doing first? I'm doing this with my first. And then I was like, oh yeah, I'll do the hairstyles and the makeup after I've done dressing them. So I've got some custom content ones there. But then I was like, who wears long sleeve um, bathers? So I was like, I don't know. I was a bit indecisive on whether to use them or not. But I think I settled for one of them. I think that one, yeah. And changed her flip flops to black ones. So, yeah. Then I'm just looking through. Alright, so I changed the hairstyle. So I wanted it to be a little bit different. I wanted to go with this and change the colour. I wanted it to be a little bit funky and fun. So I'm just like, I'm really indecisive. I end up looking through so many of these just to see which one I would like best. And I think I settled for a black with a red ombre. The red ombre. I was going to go with that. But I went, oh yeah, it's like a ready purple. Purple, I would say. But I wanted to just check and see what other hairstyles first. I really love those braids. I think they're so cool. But I think I ended up going back to that hairstyle before. I think. Yeah, I'm so indecisive. Yeah, I end up just going back 
to that as her party look. Do I add accessories? I think I do. Earrings? No. But I think I put a bracelet on her. And possibly a ring. Just something cool. And colourful. No. Yeah. Gold. Like a gold bangle. Silver. Dark grey. I think... And what else do I do? So night time I left that as it is and that I left as it is. What did I do? Oh yeah, I do have makeup for her party look. So I'm really just like plain chain when I actually do a Sims makeup. So I just like a smoky eye, some winged liner and some lip stick. So you can see she's so pretty I love it but I, I'm not a fan of eyeliner on the lower lash line so I don't mess with that love winged eyes so I went with that some bronze cheeks and lips I want a dark lip I think I'll go with the dark lip yeah so many pretty colours. Um, I'll try and find out the name of this as well. But I love them. So I went with something that suits her hair. <laughs> or matches her hair. So thought she didn't need makeup to go to bed. Don't need makeup to work out. But we do need makeup for her formal so I think I change her hairstyle for this as well I wanted it to be kind of up and an updo I didn't want to make it short because I hate when you put like short hair but then in another look they have long hair I know there's the fun in it but it's like be realistic guys um, unless you wear a weave but I wanted to have a sleek updo um, I had, didn't have any of them in custom content so I think I went with one of the standard um, ga uh, in-game ones and it's just I think it's like a really fancy bun where is it yeah that one there I went with that and it suits the dress kind of like a goddess kind of look and I wanted to do her makeup do I do her makeup? Yeah, I do her makeup. And I, I think I give her some earrings as well. So I think I go with more of a lighter smoky eye. Not a smoky eye. You can't have a light. You can, but a lighter eye. And then I kind of keep it golden brown. And winged eyeliner once again some bronze cheeks once again I think I give her a lighter lip so here is like a glossy look and I go for a really nice classy red lip and just looking at all the different earrings that they have in the game I wanted something to, to be gold to match her dress and yeah there we go and I was just playing with the colors because some looked really orange some look really yellow so I wanted them to kind of like match so I was just seeing what other colors other earrings have here and I think I keep her a bracelet I think I think I think a bracelet and a ring possibly but yeah I give her a ring did I go with that bracelet I don't think I went with that bracelet because it has green that's my dog be quiet shush no sucking Shh. anyways um and here I do have some custom content necklaces and I ended up putting one on her um where is it and I just give her an everyday look 
that most girls do the wing liner the bronze cheeks again and for her lips I don't think I do anything with her lips I think I'll leave them yeah and I think I add a necklace because her chest looks really bare I'm not a fan of earrings so just looking through and then I realized I had these and I thought they were really cool so that one you can see because her boobs are too big it kind of like um, doesn't sit right and it sits in her boobs so I went with that one instead and I thought wow she looks really cool I'll remove that bracelet because I definitely didn't put that on her so then I went to name her I don't even remember her name um, what do I go for is it Nyla I think it might be Nyla yeah Nyla and surnames I'm just like no 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 I don't like that one I don't like that one and then I sit there and I'm like Nyla this Nyla that Nyla that and I just try and think of what is the right one but I end up settling I can't even see properly right now I need my glasses but I don't but I do settle on one eventually guys just to put it out there she does have a last name she is not a first name one name person and I think I went with is it Guerrez? no maybe not I don't know I can't actually remember what her last name is <gasps> mm. Guerra Nala Guerra close close so here I'm just choosing her aspirations normally I forget to do this and then it tells me to so luckily I remembered so I want her to be a detective so I wanted her to be kind of like computer savvy sporty um, but also ambitious I think I choose as the next one I, it sucks that you could only have three when you can choose like five in Sims 3 but there we have that and I chose yeah ambitious and I remembered to change her voice so just playing with different voices I kind of wanted to be kind of girly um, and sweet so just going with those and I wanted to choose her walk so I didn't know whether I wanted her to have like this prissy walk or just to be like kind of fancy so just playing with the walks there and I ended up settling for one and that was the poshy kind of walk so that is Nala Guerra I will upload her to the Sims gallery my nickname is Lizze L-I double Z A double I and um yeah I'm uploading her here actually and yeah if you guys want to continue and follow her journey then give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video with Nala uh -huh. Guerra and I want her to become a detective so yeah there we have it and I think I might build her house so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video bye